Hi, I'm Saskia Grassi. I'm a children's occupational therapist working in Gateshead and I'm here today to introduce School for Fidgets, a five minute long film created from the words and pictures by children and young people who answered questions about their need to fidget and chew in college and school. Lots of their feedback is also useful to think about when you're learning from home. To pull everything together and bring their stories to life, the animation and supporting artwork for the film were built around the pupil's self-portraits. As an occupational therapist, I'm interested in how children and young people take part in all the activities and tasks that they want, need and are expected to do in everyday life. These include self-care, like getting dressed or brushing your teeth, play, leisure and all the activities that make up a school day. A part of my job is looking at what helps or makes things more difficult and this is why I'm interested in fidgeting. Humans are not designed to sit still for long periods of time, yet this is what we're often expected to do when learning. As well as the physical need to move, fidgeting can be triggered by our emotions. For some young people, fidgeting can support emotional as well as physical need by helping them self-calm and feel happier in themselves. This can then help with focus, taking part in activities and learning. What counts as fidgeting? A few examples of natural fidgeting coping strategies are playing with hair, shifting in your seat, wiggling toes, biting nails, playing with pencils and doodling. More specific ways of fidgeting include using a fidget tool, shading in shapes whilst listening, chewing a chewy or sitting on a movement cushion. When fidgeting becomes the main activity or disturbs others, it can get in the way, which is why it's so important to understand your fidgeting needs. Think of when you need to fidget most and also when you can pay attention and take part more easily. Talk to someone you trust or write down the things that are difficult for you as well as the things that can help. Many changes can help other young people too, like regular movement breaks. The YouTube description lists things that can impact on fidgeting if you want to find out more. I hope you enjoy the film.